Let's see how to make easy and tasty chamandi podi or roasted coconut chutney powder. Hello dear friends and welcome to Kitchen Compass. Here I've taken one medium sized dried coconut or copra. Slice the copra for even and easy toasting. Pulse the dried coconut in the mixie. Here I have 2 cups of the grated coconut. Instead of copra, fresh grated coconut can also be taken. However, fresh coconut needs to be roasted for a longer time. I have also taken 2-3 to three tablespoons of sliced shallots, 1 tablespoon of sliced ginger, a small lemon sized ball of tamarind, about 8 dried red chilies and 4 Kashmiri dried red chilies about half cup of curry leaves and two teaspoons of peppercorns. The addition of peppercorns is optional. To start with the preparation, heat a heavy bottom pan and add in the sliced ginger and shallots and dry roast for two minutes on a medium flame. If using fresh coconut, you can add the coconut too at this stage. Now add in the red chilies. Mix everything once. Add in the grated copra and dry roast on a low to medium flame till the coconut turns dark brown in color. Do keep stirring in between for even roasting as well as to prevent it from getting burnt. After about 5 to 6 minutes, we can see that the color of the coconut is beginning to change. At this stage, add in the curry leaves and continue with the toasting process. Depending on the vessel used and the flame, it takes approximately 12 to 15 minutes for the coconut to be roasted well. When the coconut has toasted to a golden brown, add in the peppercorns and continue with the roasting for another 2-3 to three minutes until it attains a darker brown. If using an iron pan, turn off the flame at this stage. The residual heat of the pan is enough to roast the coconut further. Continue stirring for a few more minutes. coconut is roasted well. It has got a dark brown color. Allow this mixture to cool down a bit. You may also transfer this to another bowl for faster cooling. The mixture has cooled down. Take out the dried red chilies from the mixture as we first need to grind them along with the salt and turmeric. To make it into a chutney powder, into the dry grind of the mixie, first add in the tamarind, salt and the roasted dried chilies. Pulse them and grind them to a powder. Now add in the coconut mixture and powder it. Since the roasted coconut releases oil, run the mixie at short intervals and mix well in between. This helps to powder the mixture well, the chamandi pudi or the roasted coconut chutney powder is ready. When it has cooled down completely, store it in airtight containers. If stored properly, it stays good for 2-3 to three weeks at room temperature and for a longer time in the refrigerator. Just like pickles, these can be had with rice, kanji, dosha, idli etc. Do try this recipe and thanks for watching.